Hello, my name is Jared Bain, and my leisure activity was the art of crochet. Crochet is originally considered a women's leisure activity. In general, women were stay-at-home mothers, especially in the past, but this still occurs today. According to Zhuangqi and Dyer, despite significant growth in maternal employment, women still perform the majority of unpaid work in dual earner families. So their role requires them to take care of the family, whether they earn money outside of the home or if they're stay-at-home parents. As we've seen with the role, women were still and are accountable for families' effective welfare. So because of this, they needed to have a hobby that they can stay, both stay at home and take care of the family and also take stress off of them as well. So the art of crochet provided two necessary functions. It provided textiles for the family in terms of clothing or afghans or blankets. And it also provided a leisure activity for the woman. They finally had an activity that they could both perform at home and still take, keep track of the kids and household duties as well. Now, men rarely perform crochet. They were usually performing other duties at home or more manly types of leisure activities. This is because there's a great social divide. Of all the socially created divides, the gender divide is the most basic and the most resistant to social change, according to Epstein. The man's role was to be outside of the home, while the woman's role was to be inside of the home. This occurred both in jobs and in leisure activities as well. So why is crochet a perfect fit? Crochet is a perfect fit because it fits with the leisure activities of women of earlier time periods as they're able to perform the activity at home. They're still able to perform their wifely duties, but they can relax and perform crochet as well. A history of gendered labor has resulted in men and women having similar expectations for gender roles. For example, that men should be the breadwinner and women should take care of the household. Because there's this gender role, once again, women need to stay at home and this leisure activity allowed them to do so. Now, crochet should not be seen as a feminine activity. There's nothing inherently feminine about it other than gender roles have forced it to become a feminine activity. Now before, men have been expected to be the financial provider of their families. This gender role is associated with being dominant and assertive. But gender roles have also shown that arts and crafts are not dominant or assertive, or at least that's how people view them. So this led to men needing to perform activities that feel more, fell more into their gender role. Now I personally have never performed crochet before because it was being labeled as a feminine activity. A stigma still exists regarding the participation in activities thought to be more appropriate for the opposite sex, according to Games and Gaps. So what have I learned from this activity? It's not as easy as females in my family made it look. My mother and grandmother could quilt, could crochet afghans for at least one a day if they really wanted to, whereas it took me an hour just to get one long line of yarn threaded. What you do is you basically thread yarn through a small knot and keep on doing it repeatedly until you get a long chain and then flip it back around and do the same thing repeatedly for hours and hours and hours until you finally have come up with the pattern that you want. This takes a lot of patience, hand-eye coordination, and time. Women that perform this activity must have strong hands and great hand-eye coordination in order to perform this at such a high speed. I personally would do this again if I had the chance, but sadly I'd have to wait until school is finished to have the time to perform it. Here are the list of the references. Once again, I'd like to reiterate that this should no longer be seen as just a feminine activity. It is not an easy skill to acquire. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of skill and time and effort to get really good at this craft. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation today. I appreciate it very much.